Hello. Welcome to LRS Fishing on the beach. <laughs> what an evening. What an absolute beautiful evening. I'm at a place I've never fished before. Um, yes, uh, yesterday morning I was at uh, uh, Wayborn. And then you come further this way, further north, and next door you've got a, a beach called Salt House. And then next to that, clay, clay next to the sea. North Norfolk Shingle Beach. North Norfolk Shingle. It's beautiful, man. I did, I had some bait left over, just squid. Um, and I put it on Facebook. I was like, hey, listen, got a bit of squid left over from a uh, bait, uh, 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 a session, fishing session this morning, as in yesterday morning. I'm thinking of going somewhere, where should I go? People have said, well, you're at Wayborn, so go, go further, go. It's only 10 minutes up the road, isn't it? Well, five minutes up the road from Wayborn, so it's a place called Clay. Never fished it before. It's a spectacular beach. But North Norfolk Shingle goes on for a long while. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful place, it really is. Hopefully you can hear me right, but there's a wicked wind coming from the west over my shoulder. But I might be in the shell for some bass. Close in. 40 yards. Uh, I've only got a squid, but a chat messaged me, a good mate of mine, I've been talking to on social media a lot over uh, like Instagram and that. Um, his name's Rob. Uh, he, he's into like, um, uh, like wild camping and uh, foraging and all that sort of stuff. It's really cool, man. He's a really, really nice guy. And he, he messaged me earlier. He said, mate, you're going to Clay. Because I was born and bred around there. Uh, he started fishing it when he was a kid. Uh, he, got, he knows the beach is like the back of his hand. So I'll come and join you. Uh, he just messaged me saying he's just coming through uh, Cromer and stuff, just gonna stop to get some food. Uh, so he's gonna be with me in about 20 minutes, I reckon. Time is 10 to six, high tide is now. Yep, high tide is now. Uh, it's a uh, 4.5 meter tide. Uh, range uh, five, 4.5 meter drop in tide. Uh, so we'll be fishing a sort of slack water over high tide and then fish the ebb out. Uh, I'd prefer it if it was still a couple hours to high tide, you know, like fish the high tide in, in the dark. But um, fortunately, uh, it's one of those, I, I can't control what the tide does, you know. As they say, tide and time waits for no one. But yeah, that wind is, is, is dropped the temperature a fair bit. But it is beautiful. It really is a beautiful, beautiful evening. So uh, Rob did say he was going to bring, I, I messaged him and he was like, oh, I'll come fish with you. And I was like, mate, I've only got a squid. Just don't worry about it. I'll bring a load of uh, bait with me, hopefully. He said he'll get to the tackle shop and see what they've got. So fingers crossed, he'll, he'll bring a bit of extra bait for us as well, which would be sweet. So I'd say thank you, I bought him a load of beer. <laughs> fingers crossed, fingers crossed he will have some bait. Now, I've got two rods out. Now, I don't remember if you, well, you watch my last video, you'll see what happened with that seagull. <laughs> so I'm just down to, I usually I fish with three, but I didn't sort out uh, the third rod in time. So I'm just, well, I'll just fish with two rods today. So left hand rod, pulley panel, uh, size three, three O and one O hook. Uh, the top hook, the panel hook is a one O. And then the right hand rod is the shorter rod with my trusty um, Fruit Paternoster rig, which never lets me down. The last session I had, I, had, I think I'm sure it was about 10 uh, whiting. So, um, you know, if I don't catch anything, well, it is what it is. I had, I had plenty of fish yesterday, so. I think that's my man over here now. I think he's just turning up. So uh, we'll get him set up and uh, I'll get back to you in a minute. Beautiful night sky, look at that. Come on. Just turn it up.
reckon. Yeah. Bit of weed, that's a shame. I've got a bite. I, we, we're getting this a lot. Really sharp tap bites. And we're really in and it's just leading to nothing. There you go, it's, it's doing it. Oh, you won't see in the dark, but... Yeah, there it goes again. Right, I'm gonna reel in and see what it is, but I think it's weed, but we're getting this all the time, both of us. Just sharp, like this, and it's just nothing. Right, we'll see what it is. Right then. What is that? A beautiful bass. Come on. Oh, get in there. Well chuffed. There you go. Nice bass. What size do you reckon that is? It's gonna be. Ah, it's only schooly really, so yeah, small, isn't it? Alright, let's get him released. Come on! Here he is. Wait for these waves to come in. Oh, he's been put back in the surf. There he is. Ah. There he is. There he is, he's swimming away. Got a watch in. I wonder right. how long it would take for this to show up. Oh, he's wearing his lung. There you go. Let him swim about in there for a bit. Catch his breath. <laughs> about time. just reeling in and then he's going to recast one more time but it's been a very unusual night we're getting major bite indication really good really really good bites and they're just i don't know they're just not uh, developing you know like we'll reel it in and it's like oh uh the weed has gone uh we, he's, he's had a few white in and i've just had that one bass uh, early on, so very uneventful. Oh, hold on, he's got a fish. Oh, what's that, a dab? Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, hello. His lip book as well. Oh, blimey. There you go. It's 2 1 now. Oh. Decent. Oh, it's so nice to see uh, a dab or whatever lightly hooked. They're always yeah. big throat in them, aren't they? Is good, yeah. Oh, well in, mate. There you go. Top man. Good man. <laughs> Get in. I love the eyes on them. Quality. Good man. Well done. Oh, it's beating me 2 1. He's beating me 2-1, oh no. So that's it then, so he's had a white in and a dab and I've just had the bass. But it's just a really weird night. Really, really, really weird night's fishing. Both rods have been, we've had, we've had probably eight or nine really good clear bite indications. You know, real pull downs on the top of the rod and it's not stormy out there at all. It's, there's a bit of wind and a bit of surf, but nothing out of the ordinary. Um, so yeah, a bit odd, not gonna lie, a bit odd. Um, just been reeling in and nothing on the hook. Um, so whether there's just a lot of fish out there that aren't quite committing, I don't know. 
but yeah, we're just gonna one more cast each, I think, and see what happens. But I'll uh, probably wrap it up here and um, I'll speak to you when we get back into the car. Back at the car now. Uh, not the world's most prolific session, I'm not gonna lie. Let me just turn my lights on. Um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't great. Uh, just three fish between us. Rob had the two, uh, we had a white in and a small dab, and I had the bass. So I'm quite pleased about having a bass, actually. Um, I've wanted a bass for a long time. Um, and I got one, so yeah, I'm actually made up. I know it wasn't the best session in the world, and it got quite dark, obviously, early on now. So um, yeah, it, it wasn't fantastic filming, but yeah, we caught a fish, I didn't blank. So that is the main thing. But you know what? It was great to be out. Lovely sun, sunset. Um, great to meet Rob. Uh, it was good social. So um, yeah. But for me, that's it. I'm done. If you could please uh, comment what you think. I know the filming wasn't the best because it's not a time and it's a bit more difficult at night. Now we're coming up to the winter months. Um, you know, I'm gonna have to invest in like a big floodlight or something to film with. Uh, make it a bit easier for us. Um, but yeah, comment what you think. Please subscribe, and if you want, go and check out my social. Uh, I'm on Instagram and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's for me. I'm going to get back to the caravan now, sort of about 10:45. Missus will be waiting for me. So yeah, thank you for watching our Larry's fishing. You know what? Wherever there's water, I'll be there. Take care, guys. I'll see you on the next one.